Hey guys, this is Barry with Fire and Ice Outdoors, and I recorded this entire thing uh, without any audio. I tested it and made sure everything was working. I apologize, but I can speak right over top of this. I didn't want to record the whole thing all over again. But what you're seeing here is a dishwasher that is kind of off-grid. Um, I try to do things that are relative to my audience and this thing here is an off-grid quote dishwasher and what made me think that it would work well with my audience is because we live I live so when I say live so far my shop is in my house is probably 60 yards from each other and the issue with that is that when I bring my stuff over from once I'm done with camping I go to the house and um, uh, drop off all my dishes that I've used and then I unload everything in the shop and then my kids will wash or my wife will wash all this stuff up and wind up um, not putting it back by the door or whatever they actually just put it in the, uh, the drawer or in a cabinet or something like that so the, the I think this would actually work really well um, if somebody had a situation where they had an RV or if they had something like in like my situation where I go camping uh, these items here you know uh, my camp st you know stove pots pans coffee maker and all these things there um, there if I had a way to wash them right there at my uh, uh, at my shop this would be freaking amazing so I brought a bucket for it to drain um, I brought some dish detergent um, so let's get this thing opened up um, the packaging is freaking perfect um, I'll get this top opened up and let's get this bad boy fired up I'm super excited about this I, I, I like the idea of once I get done at camping that I can just run a, a dishwasher run, run, you know one clean my own stuff here at the shop it's got a manual uh, just looking for any kind of damage uh, about to beast mode this real quick lift this bad boy up in the air fire bam all right uh, it's actually pretty light um, uh, there's some really cool stuff inside here that you wouldn't expect um, once I get this opened uh, uh, let's see if I can get this box put away got this little sticker that says please remove that, that makes sense later but right now I'm completely confused why it's saying that let's find a place to put this all right let's clean up a little bit make this place look good for the camera boom 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 pop uh, let's get this out of the way use it as my trash can grab the uh, uh, it's not heavy it's made everything's pretty much plastic uh, so I have this little lid on top uh, and that's where you pour the water um, and we'll take the little stickers off the sides um, it's really well packaged um, let's see get all the stupid stickers off mm -hmm. put that in the trash let's open this bad boy up all right so a little bit more protective packaging Alright, 
all of this stuff is taped down um, inside here so I'm trying to get all the tape off and it's aggravating me so I'm about to pull the knife out there we go bop, boom, bop. cutting all the little tape off basket is actually for washing fruit and it's got two hoses one that you have where you can hook right into your sink and the other one is a drain which is really cool um, so if you were had like an RV or an off-grid cabin or something like that you could, uh, you could it has a reservoir for water or you can actually use the water from your sink uh, you screw it in you'll have to take the little cap off you have to fill this up, I think, two or three times. It'll beep at you when it's, when it's full. Alright, so we're going to install this. We don't need that one, so we're going to put it to the side. Alright, where to put that? This is really cool because we have some dirty dishes here. It's got a... Um, a jet on the bottom and the top, just like a regular dishwasher. That's my pan that does bread, some coffee mugs. We have quite a few coffee mugs. Boom. And the, all of these have soot on the bottom of them, so from the, you know, doing this over fire. So that's not gonna work. That's a 16 inch pan. Um, so that's not a, you can't put that up straight up and down. That's my little hot lips that just fell there. We haven't washed those since I've got them, so they're probably super gross that inside there. It's got a little lid, which is really cool. Keeps that from just washing all around. Alright, that's my real grate that I'm not really sure why I'm washing. Because um, you can sanitize that over the fire. Some silverware. Plates. Skip, skip, uh, not uh, stick pan from G uh, G S I G S I. Um, looks like I'm gonna have to do two lobes. That'll work. Bam. Fill that bad boy up. Alright, I think I found... I've got to take this off. It's driving me crazy. It says take off before removing. It's just like this little film on the top of it. Um, it makes sense to me. Now, it's super satisfying. Alright, let's throw that in the trash. Nothing else. Oh, all right, we're gonna put the soap in there. It's just dish detergent. I'm gonna cut a little hole on the bottom of it, like a, a pastry bag. And just you pour a little bit in this little bucket that they have. You can use the little capsules too if you wanted to but we don't need that to cleans your fruit for you all right let's close this up done put the knife back up now it's time to go get some water i'll be right back Wow. 
walked on, I realized that I needed the bucket. So, you see, you have to fill it up several times. So now I'm going to hook up the drain on the back of it. Let's see where that's at. So there's two ports on the back. One's a drain, and one is a um, where you can connect the water to it. Uh, and it just there's like a pressure fitting. You just pressure fit it. We're gonna push this forward. There we go. And we'll still have it burnt, burnt cleaner. Get it in there. That's not uh, a lot of water comes out, so it's not that big a deal to. You don't want it to come out though. Uh, here, I'll show it to you. Let's take a look. So, so this is to fill it up, connect it to your sink, and the other side is for the drain. And here is the plug. It's 110. We're gonna run it off of a, um, a power uh, power plant. We're not gonna plug it into the uh, to the wall. Put this burn up. Boom. I'm going to just put the water right back into the bucket that um, I'm pulling it out from. Alright, where is the. I'm trying to clean up a little bit. I was looking for the little uh, thing to fill it up from the back. Charged. So let's see what this thing can do. Hopefully, it will run the, the whole thing. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how long this is going to take. Get this bad boy, take that little cap off, and plug it right into the side here. Side. Try to get the turn on. There it is. All right, so we're good. Take a look. I'll show you. So this is really nice setup. Um, you can do the. You can put a cell phone on the top. It's got a light. Um, it's got three plugs on the side. USB and USB C. Closer so you can see what's happening. Alright, so turn the power on and gives you several uh, options of, um, you know, like um, a quick rinse, um, heavy duty uh, fruit. We've got to put the water on the top. So Now see how clear that water is. Now watch when this is all done. It's really from the soot, uh, from water, all my stuff I'm cooking. The water just turns to a black. Just waiting for it to beep. Not two full ones, but two. There we go. This will probably be it, right? No. I'm trying to see if it's 
telling me like when to stop. Um, I think a bug touched me right there. I wasn't sure what's going on. Come on, it shouldn't take much longer. There it is. Now it told me to stop. It beeps at you. Okay, where's the lid? Boom. Snap that lid on there. Bam. And all right, so just hit the power button. It's making some noises. You can see the little blue soap in the window. Um, come on, do something. It's like I'm hearing it rumble, but it's not doing anything. Just make sure the hose is. And if it does squirt out, it's not going to jump out of the uh, the bucket and get everything wet. All right. So it's making noises. I'm hearing. Do something. Checking my mic. Make sure the mic is working. Okay. Okay. Bam. <laughs> now it's working. Look at that. That's crazy. It's freaking awesome. And it's running up about at 30, 35 watts right now. Um, which is going to jump up higher than that. I think, what is that? 800 watts now. Um, and it'll run for about an hour on the left side it shows you how long it'll run for but um yeah 900 watts right now and um and I really think that's like the motor and the heater um so that this is the coolest little thing right now I can wash my pots and pans at the um, you know here at the shop um, I am not sure why I just took that bucket I need the bucket uh, to drain okay let's put the bucket back um, got the little thing the drain right in the bucket Just wondering if there's going to be any kind of pressure on that hose that it will sling the water out. You know, if you have like a water hose hydrant, we have a lot of pressure on the hose, it like moves around. But in here, I think I got it all locked in. Boom. I've just got it hooked right into the um, little bucket, the little cup. So if anything weird happens, it'll hold it down. Thing. looks like it's running okay um, it's got power it's got water uh, it's got a place to drain the water so um, all right I'm not sure what else to do at the moment I don't know I don't know how long this will take either so all right um, So it's saying it's going to take a, it's that power stations will, will only run this for about an hour. Um, hopefully it won't need more than an hour. A 1200 watt power station as of right now, um, it's saying it'll run it for an hour. So we'll see how long this will take. So all right, it's running. I'm super happy. We'll be right back.
slowly draining. See how dirty the water is? Alright. So I set my alarm for an hour. Oh, 45 minutes. And it's just shut off. And now there's a vent on the side that's like steaming. So that's pretty cool. That it's it's actually drying it. Um, so the power station is still working um, so it's on drying mode now it's got a little steamer let's see and so it's only 55 watts or 50 it's 55 percent um, so that's pretty cool that it, it didn't use all of it um, I guess it didn't uh, oh there's a freaking light in there wasn't a light there before. Um, everything is all clean, a little bit wet. Um, it's not terrible. I also stuffed it full of probably more than I should. Um, it, all the soot. It got the soot off. Not sure why I watched that again. It's just a grill. Um, I'm always smelling stuff I'm crazy. Um, let's put you back. I am like crazy tickled about this. I can run this completely off the grid. I could run this um, um, here at the shop. Everything smells and seems clean. A little bit wet. That's how you make uh, bread. Spoons clean. And cups and cup lids are clean. I am. And my hot lips are clean. Yeah, everything looks clean inside. Take a look at this. So there's that right there is you can push down on it it will actually that's your filter so if you have any like trash or any food or whatever you can pull it out and clean it but um, yeah this thing looks good and it only used half of the um the power that i thought it would use water's nasty It took two hours, two, uh, an hour to wash and an hour to dry. Um, and, uh, so I, it doesn't do a lot of um, uh, dishes, but for what I use it for, what I would use this for is absolutely just perfect. I'm, uh, I'm crazy happy about it. Um, not very heavy. And if you would like one of these, I'll put it in the description below. Uh, they're not crazy expensive either, so that's uh, uh, something on your wish list. If um, if you have a shop or um, even like a, an RV or if you're doing anything like overlanding, uh, this might be something you would probably want. It's just an idea. So I'd, like I said, I'll put a description uh, below. And if you like stuff like this, th thumbs up it. Um, hit the notification bell. And I appreciate y'all watching.